Top 10 Most Terrifying Pirates Hey, welcome back to today's video. We are going to talk about the top 10 most terrifying pirates. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Now let's get started. Number 10. Sadie the Goat Sadie Farrell is an Irish-American criminal, gang leader, and river pirate. She operated under the pseudonym Sadie the Goat. She led a gang that harassed ships and raided cargoes on the New York waterfront. She started with street mugging. When she found a lone traveler, she butts her head like a goat in the traveler's stomach, and her accomplices will then hit the traveler with a slung shot. They robbed the victim. She wore an ear around her neck till she died. When she moved away from town, she settled in the waterfront area. In 1869, she witnessed an unsuccessful attempt to rob a ship, and then she offered the criminals her services. Thus, becoming the leader of the Charlton Street Gang, she executed many robberies. She sailed the Hudson and Harlem Rivers, raiding towns and kidnapping people for ransom. She also stole from farm and riverside houses. She was known as the Queen of the Waterfront when she returned to the Fourth Ward in New York after the farmers fought back. She is remembered for making some of her victims who couldn't be bailed by ransom walk the plank and drown. As a pirate, she worked only for a few months, but she had a memorable criminal life. Number 9. Francois Lolonnais The first sign of a pirate is a fake name. This man was called Jean David Nau, but he gave himself a French name. His first big win was in Venezuela, where he, together with 400 men on eight ships, captured a Spanish treasure ship filled with cocoa, gemstones, and some 260,000 Spanish dollars. He also killed over 500 Gibraltar soldiers and ransacked many cities, took over forts, and prized possessions in the area. He earned his title, the Bane of Spain, from this expedition. He was an expert in torture. He sliced portions off the victim's flesh or tied a rope around the neck of the victims until their eyes popped out. He continued to rape, enslave, and kill his many victims after receiving ransoms. He had over 700 men under him when he tried to take over Central America, but Spanish soldiers ambushed him. He got him killed by the indigenous Kuna tribe. He died in Panama before he turned 40. Number 8. Nicholas Brown Nicholas Brown was an English pirate who operated along the Jamaican coast in the 1700s. He was nicknamed the Grand Pirate. He was protected by Trinidad and the Spanish in Cuba. He is notorious for capturing slave ships and selling them. In 1723, he captured a slave ship with 300 slaves and set the captain and crew adrift. He paid someone else to pretend to be the captain of the ship so that Cuban officials will sell it for the lawful prize. The Jamaican government, led by Governor Nicholas Laws, offered 500 pounds to whoever could bring Nicholas Brown to them. His old schoolmate and pirate hunter, John Drudge, defeated him in November 1726 and decapitated his body. He kept his head in rum and gave it to the Jamaican government. He was an active pirate for five years and committed many harmful things against Jamaica with the help of Christopher Winter, as expressed in a letter by Governor Laws of Jamaica to the Trinidad Magistrates. Number 7. The Victual Brothers The Victual Brothers started as a guild of privateers. The privateers were private people commissioned to fight for nations and people on the water. The Victual Brothers then transitioned into pirates, disrupting maritime trade in the North and Baltic Seas. The Victual Brothers is a bastardization of the meaning of the word in Latin, which means Vitalian Brotherhood. The guild was formed in 1393 in Sweden and also operated in Germany and Scandinavia. It was first hired to supply provisions to Stockholm after Queen Margaret I besieged the city in a war over Scandinavian supremacy. The guild had allyship in all the cities that did not want a Denmark victory. They used them as harbors before turning on them and conquering them pirate style. They conquered towns and stole from the people. Now the group set up its headquarters in Gotland, Sweden. At this point, Queen Margaret sought help from Richard II of England to drive them away. She got support from Sweden and Norway, who were all affected by the activities of the guild. The Victual Brothers were defeated, but many of them stayed at sea and called themselves the Lyka Dealers. Their leader, Klaus Stortebecker, formed the new group in 1394. The group burnt Bergen to the ground and plundered other important trading towns in rebellion. It took the Hamburg warship of 1401 to trap and overpower the group. Number 6. Edward Jordan 
The end of the golden age of piracy saw a lot of pirates have short-lived careers. Edward Jordan was an Irish rebel, fisherman, and pirate who lived from 1771 to 1809. Jordan participated in the Irish rebellions of 1797 to 1798, but was later pardoned. His attempt to start life again as a fisherman in Nova Scotia failed and ended him highly indebted. In 1809, he went back to his old ways and executed crew members of a merchant he owed. The reason being that the merchant was going to seize Jordan's schooner called Three Sisters. A schooner is a sailing vessel. The crew died, but Captain John Stairs escaped and was rescued by a fishing schooner nearby. The Royal Navy later captured Edward Jordan and convicted him of piracy. He was executed and his body hanged at Black Rock Beach. His skull is still displayed in Nova Scotia Museum. Number 5. Edward Lowe Edward Lowe was a thief from a young age in Westminster, London. He tried escaping poverty by moving to Boston, Massachusetts as a young man. He lost his wife to childbirth in 1719 and then became a pirate along the Caribbean, New England and the Azores. In his career, he captained a small fleet of ships that captured hundreds of ships. He burned most of them in his three years of active piracy. He is known for viciously torturing victims before killing them. His ways have been described as savage and desperate. He also forced many fishermen along the towns he operated to become pirates. Those who refused were beaten, whipped, and kept in chains. He is remembered for talking married men out of his team because he regretted leaving his daughter behind. He also had women return to shore safely as respect for his wife who died in labor. Lowe was defeated in a battle with Greyhound. The pirate hunters, Greyhound were sent to attack Lowe at Martinique. No one knows how Lowe escaped or how he died. Number 4. Black Caesar Black Caesar was a West African pirate who started his career after forceful enslavement. He had escaped many slave traders until one ship lured him with gifts to have a party in a ship. The ship he was aboard was struck by a sudden hurricane along the Florida reefs. Caesar and another sailor he had befriended were the only survivors on the ship because they boarded a longboat and waited out the storm. The duo used their status as shipwrecked sailors to get aboard other ships and rob them. The treasures they stole were hidden on Elliot Key. The two had a falling out and Caesar killed his longtime friend. He started operating on the open sea with a crew. Their hideout was the Caesar Creek and Old Rhodes Key. They sunk many ships and buried at least 26 bars of silver on the island. He kept prisoners but starved them to death. Many of his captives who escaped formed their customs and language. He later moved to pirate in the mid-Atlantic where he was taken captive by Virginia colonial authorities. He was convicted of piracy and hanged in Williamsburg, Virginia in 1718. Number 3. Henry Every In the mid-1690s, Henry Every operated in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The English pirate was commonly known as Long Ben after his alias Benjamin Bridgman. He was also nicknamed the King of Pirates. He is the luckiest pirate having never been caught or harmed in battle. He led the famous raid against the 25-ship convoy on a pilgrimage to Mecca. His earnings in previous jewels and medals amounting to 91.9 million pounds in 2021. The raid got the attention of Britain and they placed a worldwide bounty of 1,000 pounds on his head. Every vanished from the records in 1696 and never returned. Number 2. Bartholomew Roberts Roberts is the most successful pirate of all time. He conquered over 470 vessels in his career as a pirate along the American and West African coast. He created an 11-rule pirate code and was known as the Great Pirate. Roberts became the captain of his ship when Portuguese soldiers killed his predecessor, and his first mission was to avenge the death of his former captain. He worked in Brazil and Cape Verde until he died in battle around Calabar River in present-day Nigeria. HMS Swallow, the Royal Navy Command, killed him. He died from an arrow that pierced his throat. He was considered a hero and untouchable, so even the Royal Navy was surprised to hear of his death. His crew drowned his body according to his wishes to be buried at sea. Number 1. Stenka Razin Razin was a Cossacks leader who caused major trouble in South Russia. He plundered cities and formed a base in Yaitz, but the government defeated him. He went on to attack Persia. The Persians killed almost 400 of his people in response. He fought eight wars in his time and tried to take power from the government and hand it to peasants. 
His motive, turning political, the leading uprising against the Sardom bureaucracy is where he lost control, and his tribe had to pay dearly. He was active for only one year, dying in 1671. He died by execution by dismemberment. Let us know which of these names are familiar. And is your city mentioned in these pirate stories? Please leave your comments in the section below.